Hi, this is Jonathan with Imagine Energy, and we're back here at the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House project with Hammer in Hand. And we're in the mechanical room today uh, of the finished product, talking about some of the strategies and equipment we used to execute this project. So in front of me, we've got our Zender HRV. So this provides fresh air from the outside and exhaust stale air. And as those two air streams pass each other, we get heat exchange. So that way you get the quality of air of leaving a window open without the heat loss associated with that. And this unit's really efficient, so we're converting about 90% of the heat energy that would have been exhausted from the house and putting that right back into the incoming air. So the incoming air feels warm and uh, it's nice and fresh. Now that system is feeding that fresh air, as you can see right above me here, uh, right into the duct system that's over my head. So uh, this duct system is providing both heated and cooled air uh, for the house, as well as that fresh air. Uh, so that's a bit of an unusual approach uh, for a passive house. And overall, we're kind of stretching the boundaries of a couple of different um, pieces of equipment. Uh, for instance, uh, a normal heat pump that we would want for this house uh, doesn't get small enough to be able to handle uh, how low the heating and cooling needs are for this passive house. It really uses very little heating and cooling. Um, so we would normally use that typical American heat pump, but they just don't come in sizes small enough. So we've gone here to um, Japanese mini split heat pump, but those are also not designed for long duct runs. And because this house access is kind of very long uh, east and west, uh, we had to put a long duct system in that we, we showed in an earlier video. Uh, so we're kind of stretching the boundaries between both pieces of equipment, but we were able to slightly upsize this equipment so it could handle that long duct run and push all the air all the way down to the bedrooms at the other end of the house, as well as deliver that fresh air that we want. Uh, and at the same time, even though it's a little bit larger than we want, which normally can cause problems with uh, short cycling the heat pump, it's a variable speed heat pump. So it can ramp all the way down to about 30% and still operate in that range most of the time at a very high efficiency. So we're gonna talk about a couple of the specific features and how they tied into our overall design strategy here in the mechanical room. So above me is a filter box. And um, uh, for modern furnaces, this is kind of a larger filter than you typically see. And the reason is uh, that we wanna make sure that there's very low resistance to the air. So we both wanna capture any kind of particulate that's going through but we also want to minimize that resistance so that airflow can get everywhere in the house. And as we mentioned before, this air handler uh, for the Japanese mini split is not capable of pushing air for very long distances. So any kind of resistance it has to that flow is a problem. So we put in a really free flowing yet high effectiveness uh, MERV 13 filter here. And it really kind of uh, meets the best of uh, both worlds there. Uh, one of the other functions we have here, which you can't really see, but it's in this little space here, is a damper that's actuated on pressure. And the reason that we have that there is so that when the air handler is off, not providing heating and cooling, when there's not a need for heating and cooling in the house, we still want to ventilate. But we want that ventilation air to get to all the different rooms in the house. So the ventilation air comes in here. If we let it just come into that duct, it could go both that way back out to the return and that way to the supply. But we want it all going out the supplies and not out to the return. So we put in a little damper here that's actuated on pressure and it will keep itself closed, pushing all of the fresh ventilation air out through the duct system and out to all of the rooms. And one of the other features we have here uh, is balancing. And uh, most, homes that, most homes don't even have fresh air ventilation, let alone figure out how to apportion that evenly throughout the house. Uh, now, because it's a very advanced home, we're incorporating all of those features. So you can see an example of a little balancing blade damper here right at my hand. Uh, and we can adjust this to make sure that we're getting the right amount of both heating and cooling in each room and ventilation air. Now, that can be a challenge at different times of the year. Uh, for instance, uh, the floor we're on right now is below grade and surrounded by the earth on three sides. So it doesn't really need much cooling uh, down here when the upstairs might need more. But we still need uh, more or less equal levels of ventilation in each room. 
So we definitely uh, use those balancing dampers a lot in our commissioning process to make sure that we're getting the right balance of ventilation air to each room and the right balance of heating and cooling air to each room. So we have both dampers here at this level at the main ducts as well as little dampers at every single register, um, both ventilation and heating and cooling registers. So we can really fine tune and make sure we hit that sweet spot of getting the right amount of fresh air in each room and the right amount of heating and cooling air. So here we are uh, at the heat pump outdoor unit uh, for the Pumpkin Ridge home. And you can see this is very different looking than a typical air conditioner. Uh, that's what its job does, it both air conditions and heats, um, but you can see it's much smaller than a typical unit. So a typical unit would be square, you know, really kind of boxy, and this is uh, uh, very slim, hence the name Mr. Slim there. And you can see how quiet it is too, because it's actually running right now, and if you listen, it's really barely audible. So uh, it's quite an efficient unit, and, and really it's running very low right now because it's not doing very much heating and cooling because it's pretty moderate out right now. Uh, but it can ramp up and it still doesn't make too much more noise than it's making right now. So it's in a very efficient system, very space efficient. Uh, ability to ramp up and down is very key for this very low, uh, low energy building.